Felix, the links is official Skoda mascot and he is here for you. Maybe this is the old photo. 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 Maybe this is the old photo.
So begins a battle royale of sorts as four of the six games through two groups will decide final placings in the standings. We have Finland with Yuka Jelonen and we have Germany with Tony Soderholm. Finland entering first in the group, Germany fourth. That may change depending on the result of today's hockey game. And that means we have plenty of action for you. The Finns have been airtight the last three games. Two wins by shutout. And they have been a rare team that's used almost every player that dresses. Averaging 12 minutes is the least amount that any player plays. That's Yogi Haru, the defenseman. And Germany has just not spread out their offense enough. 14 players are without a goal for the Germans. They're going to really need to break through. Big storylines for both teams, the goaltending. Kevin Lankinen has been stellar. Four wins and only four goals against. And there's a look at Philip Grubauer. Didn't expect him to play. He appeared in Germany's third game of the tournament, played only 30 minutes, came up with an injury, but he's back in. So that is a huge storyline for Team Germany today as we get set to drop the puck to determine the seeds in Group A. Two of the top four teams, we know that's guaranteed, will be Finland and Germany. We don't know where they will finish. Dreisaitl and Lamico come together off the draw. Finland controlling. Angled in by Antela, reaching back for it. Corbinian Holzer. Missed Hoggart. Boivisto couldn't reel it in, but takes it from Lonkin in the goaltender as part of the Chicago Blackhawks program. Puevisto jousting forward at center. Bounces back in the Germany line. Holzer up ice to center. It'll be crowned by Finland. Could be a feeling out process between the two teams. If you like tactical, systematic hockey, settle in. These two teams are going to wait for the other to go a little bit off script. Leon Dreisaitl with Three goals to assist, five points. Big part of what Team Germany does offensively. There's 13 players have points for Germany that are dressed today. And seven different goal scores, so they've come up a bit thin in the tournament, despite the fact that they've been able to pick up results along the way for Team Germany. Otama rips one deep, Manon, and picks it up. At the line, Slapper towards the goal, didn't reach Grubauer. Always have to keep our eyes open for Capocacco. And he's out on the ice for Finland. Six goals, seven points. Phenomenal tournament for the young man. Frederick Tiffles bodied up against the corner boards. Lettinen trying to find that puck. Mikula in there as well for Finland. Bouncing puck. Rolls to Mikula. Now to Lettinen. They'll get the clear. Nearly landed in the lap for an opportunity. And that'll be a penalty because it's hard to slow down that guy. It certainly is. And Capococco has scored in bunches, had two goals against Canada, three against Slovakia. Here's a nifty move to drag it from behind to out front. And he was impeded. So Jonas Muller playing in his fifth game. Well, sit and watch as Finland will go to the power play. The 23-year-old just couldn't handle the youngster, Capo, Kako. Pins have five power play goals in the tournament. Germany has been pretty stingy, allowing only five against on the penalty kill. Manon, up ice. Koski dangling at the line, sends the whole thing offside. 
The Finns, when they do execute their breakout properly, they will really work it around the outside. And the Germans with their penalty kill, they were perfect through three games, going 11 straight. And then the fourth game gave up two power play goals against Slovakia, and then the next game, two power play goals against Canada and a shorthanded marker. So kind of reminiscent of what Germany's done so far. It came hot out of the gates and then have stumbled lately. Antla holds the line as Manon and Wiz is right past him. Sending it up to Kako on the far side. Finland power play looking for the game's first goal. Koski shot at the line. Backhanded on a group hour there to shut the door on Antla. Antla looking for his first point and that's a big screen in front of the net. Six foot eight. Grubauer read the rebound properly and got across. 18 wins with the Colorado Avalanche for Philip Grubauer. Appearing just his second game of the tournament. Finland right back in. Alex up the boards. Under a minute to go on the German kill. Can't get it out though. Pops free off the post. What a shot. That close for Finland. Emi Yokiharyu snuck down the backside. Germany fumbles with the puck. And this is over the glove, off the bar. Kaski, who's drawn some NHL interest, gets it towards the net. That's the nice right pad save by Grubauer. Gets down in time. Kaski led to believe he's going to end up in Detroit with the Red Wings. Savanainen back to the line. Yokiharyu. Moves it over. Let's it in. As Finland just pacing themselves here. Rayala back to Letnin. Again, Rayala. Traffic in front. Rayala to the line. Let's it in. Yoki Haru wants it, finds it. One timer stopped by Grubauer. Already in position. Rebound out. And Alitz won't be able to clear. Lettinen saves. Rayala. Slapper low. Sticked away by Grubauer, who looks very composed in that German net. Essenin in front of the net. Can't redirect it properly. Twice Germany's had the puck. Alitz twice. They haven't gotten it out. Hessen in with two goals. Can't convert there. Tail end of the Finland power play. Because that went off of Pessin and obviously to draw outside and Germany uses that to their advantage. And Lachinen will handle it behind his net. Mikula has Saladin moving through center. Mikula chooses to carry in. Penalty over out of the box is Jonas Muller. Centering pass swept away neatly by Corbidian Holzer. Saladin battling for it for Finland, but rolls to Holzer, who will plant one at center ice, and Finland comes all the way back. The Finns are very heady at getting a stick on a puck when it looks like Germany has a passing lane. Next thing you know, the man in blue gets a stick in the way. Pressure off the kill. Germany trying to shift it into overdrive. Here comes Leon Dreisaitl. Pulls up, takes a look. That's the spot he runs the power play from most times. Very comfortable. Working above the circle. Back to the line. Yannick Seidenberg shoots. Deflected down and low of the glove hand of Lonkin. It might have hit his own man, Savanainen, in front. Dreisaitl threw it through the top of the crease. Seidenberg hustling but can't get there to keep it in. Germany resetting, but upping the pressure right here. Cahoon just on side. A shot that goes off the leg of Hockenpah up and out. That's one of the players you would think would have a goal by now. Dominic Cahoon, he does have four helpers. But after a strong rookie season in the NHL. Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, all 82 games, 13 goals. And this does go off the Finnish defenseman and Flonken and seeing it go past his left hand. And I believe we have another glass issue. The, the structure in the corner specifically, if there's any kind of contact, it just snaps right back towards the stands. And basically, as you can see, burst free of the seams. And so just five minutes into this one, not even, we're going to have a slight delay. And the tricky part about this building, there's a lot of stairways and turns and twists. And so for the rink crew to get out to fix, it requires a phone call downstairs, someone to find their only ladder. And it looks like there's a fan that's trying to help out. 
Salinen in with the hit. And that's Jonas Muller who absorbs that. He's the one that took the holding call against Kako. Well, why don't we paint the picture a little bit further then as Finland entering with no losses in regulation, five wins, one overtime loss. That was to the United States. So they sit up on top of Group A, which also occupies Canada, USA. That game coming up later this evening. Boy, what a day we have when you think of Finland, Germany deciding placings in the standings, USA, Canada deciding positioning in the standings. Then in the other group, Switzerland and the Czech Republic on TSN2 with Dennis Bayak and Mike Johnson with the Swiss. A 1-0 lead, that'll decide a position, and then later tonight, Sweden and Russia. So it's a, a big battle between the two groups to find out who finishes 1-2 and 3-4 and four because the 3-4 and four place teams have to switch over. And Germany, in seeing their schedule, they have the lighter or easier opponents at the start, and they made good work through their first four games, winning all of those, allowing one goal in each of the first three, and then two goals against Slovakia, Dreisaitl with the dagger late in that hockey game. And then the wheels fall off against Canada, who won 8-1, and tighter against Germany and the United States, a 3-1 win for the Americans. But in this game here, in these two nations, last year at the World Championship, Germany beat Finland in overtime. Eisenschmied with the overtime game winner. That's the first time in 25 years that Germany had beaten Finland at this tournament. Little delay because of a break in the glass. No break on the scoreboard. John Abbott, Dave Tomlinson, Steel Arena in Kosice, Slovakia. Glass has been put back in and play continuing. Eisenschmied feeds the front. And just missing was Michaelis, who has a goal in the tournament for Germany. So both teams trying to find their stride again after Finland opened with a power play. Germany is successful kill. Then the glass delay. We're not yet six minutes in. Dennis Rule. Hulking defenseman. And that is an understatement. He he'll, is he'll tough to, to get bench. around, but he's a pretty decent skater for his size. Now Holzer tries to thread the needle down the middle. On and off the tape of Nubles. Lettinen gets the clear. Capocacco in pursuit. Chasing down Corbinian Holzer. Kako working behind the net for Finland. Nearly did find that free. Passing in. Forcing the issue, Holzer slips it past him. Now some help, Fodel will skate it out to center for Germany. Fodel had the puck bounce on him. Finland turns it around. Pessinen coming in. Pessinen looking for Kako, spotted him, but the pass behind him. Manninen trying to recover in the corner. Keep this going for Finland. Kako turns away from the play, blew a tire. Moritz Muller able to swing that one out to center ice. Nubles by his lonesome. Holding the zone for Germany, trying to wait for the support to come off the bench. It arrives, but Pessinen's picked it up. Pessinen in. Shoots glove down by Grubauer. He'll make the stop and hang on. Still without a goal. Germany and Finland in Group A.
take the draw as Yuri Saladin for Finland, but Dreisaitl wins it back for Germany. Still looking for the first goal of the hockey game. Finland playing to finish one or two in this group. Germany to finish three or four. Seidenberg angles one deep. Locking in the Finnish netminer looks behind him. Played around in the near boards. Seven nine and tying up. Limboom helps him out. Now rush ahead. Kusala shoots glove down. Grubauer big rebound. Seven nine and couldn't tuck it in. Grubauer made the save. Rare mistake from Grubauer, but he covers up for it himself. Off the glove and then. Very calm in making that follow-up safe. Fishing for it. Saladin picks it up for Finland. Back to the line he goes. Rashot is blocked in front. Boy, that was a stinger. Trying to shake it off is Novak. Germany slow to get out. Now they cough it up. Lamico in front. Backhander just wide. Good luck there by Kivaranta. This has caused problems for Germany in this game a couple of times where they, instead of going up the ice, they move it back. And then one missed pass allows the Finns to pounce. Kivaranta back in his own zone. Coivisto spots Lamico out of the Florida Panthers. Just lets that one rest in the German zone. Finland turning to the bench. Ryula. Trying to slow down Tiffel's entrance into the Finland territory. Ryla has it in his skates. Pride free by Hockenpah. Work back behind that Finnish net. Hockenpah off the reverse from Lettinen. Moves it off a blade at center. To Irvine. Bang in and crashing. Boy, that's the same area the glass became dislodged. I think that's going to get a workout in this hockey game. Just cross your fingers that it stays intact. To Irvine, and he likes to dish it out. Wearing 21 for Finland. Puck stolen. Laila to the net. Paddle down by Grubauer. Campo Carco. Changing directions. Always so elusive despite being the sturdy frame that he is. Has put together, I think, the best looking goal out of this group so far as Grubauer makes a stick save. That came against Denmark. Went coast to coast around a defender. Painted himself into a corner, but somehow got out of it as Grubauer slides over to make another save and face off to his left. Taco is so strong in his states. We see Kelly Matty Savanainen. There's a Kusala offering. Grubauer thinks he has it. He doesn't. Savanainen, the follow up. But again, Grubauer just goes down, stays calm. Savanainen still looking for his first goal. He's got four helpers. Grubauer from Rosenheim, Germany, played for the Star Bulls, their junior club, and they went to play for the Belleville Bulls in the OHL. Koski shot from the line, blocked down in front of Grubauer, ends up in the far boards. Germany, boy, they, they are slow at times to get out of their own zone. Finland starting to recognize and take advantage. Here's Kapokako just a stride behind that puck. Yeah, methodical, but slow is not going to help. Holzer plants it deep. Eisenschmied, who's had a good tournament for Germany. Eisenschmied lost the handle, trying to step out on the back end, but maintains possession. Eisenschmied will circle the wagons here. Eisenschmied going for a skate. Mikola ties him up. Eisenschmied not supported. Kusela able to win back that possession off a puck battle, and Manninen will tie it up behind the net. There's just too much separation from the initial German forechecker or the player that has the puck and some help. Eisenschmidt does a whole loop in the offensive zone, has no one to move it to, and you see the Germans just backing right in as a five-man unit. Lindboom started that rush ahead for Finland, turned into the Germany zone. Lindboom has to scamper back now. Four Germans away. Loibel. Novak pinching in. Had a man in front, swings it around to the far point instead. Yannick Seidenberg. Cycles it deep. Novak again in from the line. Goes right back around. Boy, Seidenberg's got to hurdle a stick there to co cover the point. Couldn't do both. And Germany looked like they had a threatening attack forming, but they'll back off to the bench. 11 minutes in, and Germany has not got a shot on net yet. The goaltender, Lankanen, just settled into the crease. 
And this is the non-forecheck that the Germans have been using this tournament. Three forwards back up, supported by two defensemen. Antela breaks through that, swings it deep. Lamico a step behind. Hager defending. The forward down deep in the German zone. Patrick Hager off a skate, nearly on goal. Puck in front, and Antela's shot was blocked by Alex. That had the top corner labeled. And again, Germany pushing the puck back to their own side, trying to go behind the net with it and give the Finns a good look. Dry sidle. Alex, Hager. Now to Alitz, works out of the corner, spins it back. Miscommunication there with his teammate Holzer. Finland stretch pass, Holzer looks the wrong way. Wrist shot and Grubauer able to fend that one off against Oyamaki. Oyamaki though keeps it alive. Ryula, intended target, this time Holzer steps in between, steals it back for Germany. Korpinian Holzer reverses to the captain Moritz Müller. Now back to Holzer. Uses the near side boards. That goes off a stanchion, slows its pace, so it won't be icing. Well, the cat and mouse game, cat and mouse game is that the Germans, when they do control the puck in their own end, would like to go D to D behind the net. They want to pull the Finns all the way in on the forecheck. The Finns are sending two guys to surround the puck. Ultima nearly in the German bench. In fact, I think he got a little extra poke in there with that stick as his arm was right over top of the boards. Ryla can't reach it. Holzer stopped short. Holzer sent support from Cahoon. Dominic Cahoon will lead the rush out. Finds Tiffles. Down deep, Cahoon again. Didn't read it. Cahoon now picks it up in the corner. At the line, Novak is shot. The flex in front. Turvinen ended up blocking it. Lamako, Lamakin rather, had lost his goal stick. Picks it back up as Cahoon sets it up. Tiffles near the line. To Cahoon in short order. Skips one down deep. Lettinen in a board battle. Now Mikola activated for Finland. A steal behind the net. Maurer side door looking to play it in front, but bounces to Kapokako. He'll make something one on two here. Kako defending with the left arm. Now springs Pesson in a shot, and he missed a real good look set up by Kapokako. There's a strength of Kako, who's able to fend off two players. Now he's got it again. Kako poke check there by Grubauer. And Kako knocked to the ice. Penalty coming up for a trip, but it's the one man show again from Capo Kako. Trying to find the game's first goal against Germany. Kako providing net front presence that led to the penalty as Novak in the box for Germany. Second power play for Team Finland. And Kako's drawn them both. Draw went on to Koski to Kako. Back to Koski at the line across Maninen. The forward point at the point. Again to Koski, traffic in front. The slapper just missed on the trapper side of Grubauer. Off the backboards, Germany gets the break and moves at the center. Man in it, steps back in. Trying to lead Otama and Oyamaki with the puck. Man in it across, Koski in. Blockered away by Grubauer, big rebound. Held in at the line by Koski. Capo Kako, far side play. He has six goals in the tournament. No power play markers yet, though. Man in it. 
to Capocacco. Wrist shot. Sticked away. Finland getting to the second chances here on the power play, trying to open this up. Manning it. Tukoski. Slap shot. Handled by Grubauer with big Antela in front, and Grubauer keeps it in. Koski's impressive offensively. Had 51 points in 59 games. As we see the strength of Kako to fend off Novak and then go back to the net, stay there. Tries to pull it. Novak comes in. It's the right leg from number 11 for Germany. They brought that tripping call. Samanainen leans in for Finland. Can't win it back. Germany scrambles after it. Benedict Schopper couldn't push it out at the line. Let it in. Tees up, shoot, scores! Change directions in front. And Finland's got a power play goal to break open the scoring. Point shot with traffic is successful for Finland. Six power play goals in the tournament now for them. Pessinen was in front of the net. It's worked off to the left wing and then back again for a one-timer. Lettinen steps into it. And Pessinen is unmarked in front. Goes up over the blocker shoulder of Grubauer. There's a really nice look between the legs of Savanainen in front. And that puts the Finns in front, 1-0. Mari Pestinen, third goal of the tournament, first power play marker. Spent some time with the New Jersey Devils organization now playing in Switzerland. Has Finland up 1-0. Goal for See what the response is from Germany. Dreisaitl. Rattling up against the end boards. At times, Germany has waited until the last seconds of a hockey game to move the throttle up. See if they come to life earlier in this one. That was the 13th shot for Finland in the hockey game this first period. Germany's still sitting on a goose egg. Mikula to center. Played in by Kusela. Torvainen couldn't find it. Germany with time. Hogger uses that. Swings one right past the penalty box door. Dreisaitl tangled up. Away from the puck with Koivisto. Didn't like that one. And Dreisaitl head to the bench for a change. True straight penalties against Germany. Dreisaitl trying to get a power play for his team. Lamico from center drops back. Koivisto in but not deep. Holzer knocked it down. Chases after it. Been a hard hit in that corner. Lamico paired off. Antela swings to the line. Koivisto is shot with traffic nearly tipped on. Grubauer reacts. Puck in front of him. And Germany will find it first. Germans slowing this game down. And there's a bit of something behind the whistle. Uh, pardon me, behind the play. As Kivaranta was knocked over by the captain, Moritz Muller. There's the shot with traffic, the puck's sitting there, good defending by Holzer. And as well, Muller, the captain, you see that stick to the back of the leg and the stick to a sensitive area. The Lamico goes down, and then Kibberant is gonna get involved afterwards. Passing in, who has the power play goal on the ice right now for Finland. Kako centering, and Mananen couldn't get a stick freed up. Eisenschmied takes a hit from Pasadin. The Cisco to Lettinen and Yoki Haru. On that one nothing goal for Finland. Germany trying to change that. Nice pass, they score! First shot, first goal in the back of the net for Michaelis. Germany, very efficient. The only time they test the goaltender, it goes through them. This advantage just seemingly came out of nowhere. Michaelis with the finish. A little loose with the puck in the neutral zone. Wait for the tag up. Send it to the middle. Backhand pass across. Lonkinen, who again hasn't stopped the puck. Still hasn't stopped the puck. 
just underneath the sliding defenseman. And Germany ties the score. That was the response. We were wondering if it would arrive, and it arrives to tie the hockey game before the period expires down to the nitty gritty here in the opening 20. So Germany comes back in under two minutes to tie the score on their only shot so far. Second goal of the tournament for Mark Michaelis, the German forward. Tourvine, and it's a Waters parts. Oh, he had a clear path in, and that comes back at the line. Goal from each team, Germany the latest. Good battle so far early in this one. Finland and Germany deadlocked at one. Finns coming into today's game were three and all when they scored first as they did today. But Germany hoping that trend will not continue as they answer back before the end of the first. The Germans will try to lull you to sleep. And then try a bit of a counterattack and successful in getting on the board. Mikola out of the corner. Takes a look, finds Rayula. Out to center, off the toe of Oyamaki, right to the stick, back for Turvainen. Couldn't reach it. Ryan in, sharp angle shot, paddled down by Grubauer. Rebound out, back at the line. Yoki Haru's shot goes wide of the glove side. We've seen that paddle down stance from Grubauer result in pucks just springboarding off of that goal stick. Yoki Haru, back to Ryula, close to the line. In fact, now comes out, and Finland has to double back. Boy, Jonas Muller all over Ryula there. On the back check. This one up and out. And Finland saying, hey, that's off a stick. Maurer says no. Referees Stefan Renault out of USA, Roman Goffman out of Russia. The linesmen are going to have a look at this as well. This is right out. The referee was closest to it. You see the top of the screen there. That's Roman Goff Goffman. So they huddle. But the Germans with a forecheck and Lamico, the puck just sits up on him. And it's going to be a German power. No. Sorry. Yes, German power play. The referee indicated puck off a stick, but I think he has to do the clear hand away. Nonetheless, Germany will get a late first period power play. Lindboom in the box. Saw the discussion from Bill Hancock and Ethan Van Oosten, the linesman today as well. So Germany, their first power play of the hockey game. Trying to find their first lead of the game. They'll redrop it. This hasn't been a strength for Germany. Their power play, two for 21. One of those was a four on three goal against Denmark from Plakta. He's got the big shot. To Dreisaitl, snaps it. Monik in the stop, Hogger the rebound. Now Dreisaitl tries to bank it in. It stays out in front of the Finnish netminder. Onto the way, shorthanded long shot. Rising though as Grubauer took that one off the mask. He was on his way down. Plakta tied up behind the play, wants a call. Won't get one, they swing one over. Open side for Dreisaitl, can't tuck it in as Oyamaki able to get the leg down, provide a big block. Dreisaitl into the slot for Fodel. Bouncing puck to the line. Plakta shoots. Big rebound off the pads of Lonekin. And down the ice it goes. And that's his strength. 22 for Germany. Matthias Plakta. He can really fire the biscuit. He's a forward who plays the point. As Germany elects to go with five forwards on their power play. 
Germany. Trying to play with a little bit more urgency looking for their first lead of the game. Have just 40 seconds left in the period to try and find a power play goal. Dreisaitl changing nearly fell at that German bench as he got tangled up stepping off with Eisenschmied. Kind of surprised that Dreisaitl would lead the ice. Normally he stays out for the entirety of the power play and here late in the first period. Why not just leg it out a little? Otama down the ice. Cahoon. Realizes the time, not on his side. Hustles up, misses the pass ahead to Ailitz, but keeping it in is Cahoon. Leaves for Tipples, back to Cahoon. Shoots off the goal post. Right on the blocker post in behind Lankinen, and that close to a German lead. But it remains a 1-1 tie after one. Germany and Finland in a dogfight. Tied up after the first.
One goal past that man off of 15 finished shots. That was a power play marker in the first. And Germany responding before the end of the period to get one on three shots that they had to the finish net. Germany will start the second period on the back end of a power play carrying over. Just 14 seconds remaining as Lindboom sits in the box for delay of game. And this game could continue to take twists and turns along the way if it stays tight. Germany has uh, elected to really try to slow things down in their own end. It's no, 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 caused no. a little bit of troubles safe. for them, but okay. they escape unscathed after the first. See if they can make quick work of the power play spilling over into period number two. Dry sidle in around a stick check of Lamico, kept to the outside. Just one second left as the puck bounces out. There's Limbo. And Germany 0 for 1 on the power play. Moritz Muller on the fresh ice, carries in, cuts to a backhand, rolls right on to Lankinen, and he'll cover up. Lankinen this season, as we see Moritz Muller, the captain for Germany. Lankinen played in the East Coast Hockey League with the Indy Fuel, and primarily with the Rockford Ice Hogs. His record was 7-12-1. No shutouts at either level there. But he does have one at this tournament, beating France 3 0, stopping all 21 shots in that game he played. Yeah, that was the last game for Finland. So Germany breaking the goose egg on Lonkinen here. Dry sidle trying to grab Germany's first lead of the hockey game. Sends it down deep. Hoggert wanted to go back to Dry sidle. Now back to Hoggert. Finland reads that, intercepts to Irvine and help get the clear. Ryula comes in. Ryula pulls up in front of Novak. Sends one deep to Irvine in there for Finland. Oyamaki as well, but it scoots free to an open corner. Germany will pick that up with Eilitz. Not an Ovak. Back to Eilitz at center. Dry settle. In on the four check. Lonkinen able to move that one along for Finland. Both teams changing up. Start period number two. That shot hit the mask again, I think, of Grubauer. He's had a couple off of that Colorado Avalanche mask. Michaelis, the goal scorer, trying to redirect another puck on net that just missed. He has the goal for Germany. Plakta defending. Freed up for Jonas Müller. Ruled off a skate of Pessinen into the Finnish bench. Well... Leon Dreisaitl always counted on for offense. He's got three goals and five points. There's his father, Peter, who's going to coach in Pasicca here in this building. Both of those two have ties to Mannheim, Germany, as Leon played his junior hockey there, and Peter played his professional hockey there at times. Cahoon wins the draw. Germany trying to get out. Tangled up with that line. Finland with Limbu. Send it right back in. Germany will look up ice. Try and get something going here. It was a quick strike that led to their first goal. Tipples down deep. Now Cahoon. 
Has Maurer in front, back along the end boards for Tiffles. He's jammed up. Saladin trying to pry that free for Finland. Cahoon discovers. Moves back to the top of the zone for Moritz Müller. Pass, get by him, and he'll retreat. Good defending by the Finns. Making sure that they're between the player and the net, pressing the Germans up against the board. And Germany then slow to react and get back in. Germany came in to this hockey game as part of the top four in the group of those four teams, Finland, Canada, USA, and Germany. Germans the only one with a negative goal differential. Just have not scored a lot in the tournament yet. Here they are with the one they need in the hockey game against Finland. Well, what's even bigger is their shot differential. The third least amount of shots by any team, Group A and B, with 154 and allowing 194 for a minus 40 shot differential, yet they had won their first four games in a row. That really buoyed them to the position they're in, which is competing for other third or fourth in the group. Probably don't want to be fourth. That would mean the crossover and likely Russia. Newbel's wrist shot. Lonkinen really overplayed that blocker angle. There was some room open on the trapper side down low, but Germany couldn't get the puck on net. That would be a replay of the 2018 Olympic final. Different title. Yep. Newbel's wrist shot blocked away by Lonkinen. Rebound off the end boards, and Newbel's will get right back to it for Germany. Down low. Loibel kicks it free. Newbel's after it. A pile up. Lamico is on the bottom of that. Puck freed up. They let them play here in the finished D zone. Germany with a couple of more looks this period than they had. Savanine retreats towards his own goal. And Finland able to get that out. But Loibel takes back for Germany. Well, the Germans need to come off the wall in the offensive zone with a puck. A couple of times they've been pried loose. And they've got to restart things. Boy, Fodel had to jump over that puck and into the German bench to avoid having too many men. The result is an icing call against Team Germany. There's Dennis Ruhl, six foot four, 251 pounds. If you go in thinking you're going to pry him loose on along the wall, you'll come in a distant second. He's been representing his country now for the sixth time at the World Championship. Dreisaitl couldn't win the draw. Oyamaki to the front, jammed up, and they score. Grubauer complains. The tour of Biden chips it in, and Finland leads. Germans asleep at the wheel off the faceoff. Tony Soderholm not pleased with the defending. And the referees are going to look at this just quickly. The puck squirts free. And it's taken right to the front of the net. Now the contact with the goaltender is slight, but it's there. And then Turvinen muscles it in. Oyamaki beats Chopper, flicks it off the blocker side, and then Chopper takes him into the goaltender. And there's the poke pass by Turvinen for his first goal if it stands. And they're just talking now to the referee, Solar Home, to see if he wants to take a look at this and make a challenge. I believe they will as Solar Home sends them over. I find it interesting. There's a good look at Tony Solar Home, the Finn, who didn't break from his tradition of wearing blue and white, even against the Finnish side today. Do you err on the side of superstition or? You're on the side of, well, we're playing Finland today. Get to that in a second. Here is the contact into the goaltender. Now, they've been very stringent with violations in the crease. But Shopper guiding him in there. Oyamaki makes an effort trying to, trying to climb on the side of the net. But it's that contact there that doesn't allow Grubauer positioning. It goes off his glove and his left arm. We've seen a couple of calls go different ways. After thinking it's going to be obvious one way, a little surprise card is played. And 
I think with the contact in the blue paint that they'd call this back. Well, it's certainly worth a coach's challenge. I think the, the right call made there by the German bench and Tony Soderholm. See, Oyamaki, you could argue he could do a better job of avoiding the goaltender. And that would be where you would want most of your evidence. They've come to a conclusion. Good look at the original call. Let's listen in to find out. At the video review, the call on the ice is confirmed. We have a good goal. Germany loses their timeout. Finland celebrates a good goal. Tour Vinen, his first of the tournament, gives Finland a 2-1 lead. Worth a shot by the Finnish coach, who's coaching the German national team. And the Germans will have to dig themselves out of a deficit again. Second one goal lead in a hockey game for Finland, trying to build on that. Germany, who answered back before, will hope to do the same. Dreisaitl, coast to coast, trying to one extra move. And the puck ripped away. Ryula couldn't get anything going. Now here's Dreisaitl again, just one to beat a shot. Stopped there by Honkinen, although looking uncomfortable doing so. And then a big hit away from the play as Hogger runs right over Hockenpah, and that'll be a German penalty. Hogger had him lined up. Hockenpah had already gotten rid of the puck. Pass off there, and Hockenpah never had control of that puck. Hogger was committed to the hit. Dreisaitl was trying to fish for the puck, and Finland will get another opportunity with the man advantage. They had two chances in the first period, converted on one of them. Grubauer still doesn't like that call, as you could expect from the goaltender's perspective, having a long chat. Hockenpah is cleaning himself up, and you're right, Grubauer wants a detailed explanation. Stefan Renault, the American official, giving him a little bit of time and conversation. Finland at a third power play in the hockey game, they're one for two. Koski moves it across the line. Manninen. Back over, Koski. Antela. All the way around to Manninen. Takako sets up, curls back. Koski again. Now Mananen. Takako shoots, sliding over to make the save with the left pad is Grubauer, and Germany sends it down. Grubauer was able to follow everything to the left, get down in time. Finland power play re enters. Mananen with speed. Rule able to get the wide frame in front to steal the puck, but not out. Kako straddles the line, keeps it in. Novak turns one deep. Fin Finland's power play goal was the first goal of the game off the stick of Pessinen. And they'll set it up with him out there. Loki Haru in to the goal. Tipped on. What a stop by Grubauer as Rayula had that hit him. Unintentionally tipped it on. Pessinen takes the shot. Finland far side. Yoki Haru across. Letnin with traffic at the side. Moves it down low for Rayula. Takes a look. At the line, Lettman settles the puck. Ryula, slapper, deflected just wide of the glove side of Grubauer. Germany with rule, can't clear. Oh, geez. Savanainen lost his stick, goes to Novak, and he will pepper on the line. That's not out. Lettman saved it. Now down low, Savanainen from beneath the goal line to Ryula in the slot. Slap shot blocked there by Fauser stepping up on it. Finland gets the puck back. Now it's chopped down and stolen. And guided down the ice by Fauser. Fauser and Rule both had a chance at the puck. Rule didn't get it out in the second opportunity by Germany. Kept alive at the blue line by the Finns. But they successfully clear that or kill that off, pardon me. Germany two for three on the penalty kill. But still the one goal separator. Puck jumps right onto the stick of Turvainen, who had that last goal for Finland. He missed the net. Limboom. Wrist shot blocked. 
Germany has been able to get in front of a lot of pucks today. Cahoon sprung the other way with Dreisaitl. Three wide, the Germans come in. Dreisaitl pulls up, shoots, tip just in front of the net by Tipples. Off the glass into the goal crease, and Lonkinen did a 180 in there. Now he has to face a shot. That goes rising over top of the glove. Lonkinen didn't know if he was coming or going. Got surprised and lost his stick in the process. Shoppers shot from the point, though, just a little wide. Delayed offside to Finland, gives Germany some time. Cahoon hustles up the ice. Cahoon drop pass towards Dreisaitl. Work back to the line, Jonas Müller. Touched nearly by a high stick by Finland. They persevere through that. And Lindboom will grab behind his own goal. Lindboom on net, deflected by the goal stick of Grubauer. Benedict Schopper for Germany, up the boards, not out. Oyamaki kept it in. Antala will curl out of the corner. Look in front, Lamico alone, shoots, pass, stop. Kicking out the left leg is Grubauer. Good look by Antala to find a teammate, Lamico in front. But Grubauer was able to get down in time, just jet out that left leg. Capo Kako, back on the ice for Finland. Has a hat trick in this tournament that came in a Big game over the host, Slo Slovakia. Kako throwing the body around against Jonas Müller. Now it'll be Michaelis. Has the goal for Germany. Feeds across. Eisenschmied robbed by the blocker of Lonkin in his best save. And this is the best line for Germany with Michaelis, who has their only goal. Eisenschmied, who leads the team in points. And Lochta, who's always dangerous. Mananen to the line. Hockenpah, his shot blocked. Lochta there. No German gets to that puck, though. Finland able to keep it in. Lentinen at the line. Spins one deep. Kapo Kako. Kako with it. Wrist shot. More of a pass. And Grubauer reading that. Knifed it away alertly with the goal stick. Pass it in. Resets for Kako. Kapo Kako. To Lentinen. Slap shot. Kicked out. Grubauer rebound. Pushed to the goal. Blocked in front. Off the second chance from Ultima and Germany gets the clear. And Grubauer's looking very stable in net, but I mean, this is a 21 to six shot advantage. Pardon me, 21 to five. Finland over Germany as Germany ices the puck. This line has been out for there for a while. There's Michaelis to the front of the net. Eisenschmidt's stop, shot is sticked away. Traffic in front, the puck bounces back. A little spinorama in the net by the goaltender. And he adjusts his mask along the way. Got the Blackhawks theme. A member of their organization with Rockford in the American Hockey League is Kevin Lonkinen. Eisen speed knocked down, stick chopped out, didn't like it. Three on two for Finland. Ryla shoots, just missed the tip. And the blocker side of Grubauer as Mikula was sifting through the goal crease. Providing a screen. Germany trying to get up, out, and change. Dreisaitl to center. Activates the next group coming off the German bench. Mikula back. Dreisaitl maybe a little frustrated. Showing that on the late hit. Ryla in the other direction. Pass cross ice intending to find Oyamaki. Now it makes its way to the finish forward. Holzer breaks it up for Germany. On to Hager. And Eilitz. Motoring through center. Rolls it deep. Hogger takes a look both ways. Tried to play back to Eilitz. Wrong side of the puck for Eilitz. Yoki Haru to Savaninen. Oyamaki had it skip past him. Riding the dasher. Koski goes back behind the net. Well, it's been this forward line that's gone up against Dreisaitl when he's been out on the ice. Oyamaki, Savaninen, who's a pain to play against and nifty when he gets the puck. Salonen gets the clear. There's Dreisaitl. Boy, oh, he's logged a lot of ice time already and expect that to continue if the score stays somewhat close to where it is now. Maurer pulls up, spots Dreisaitl at the side and on the backhand he couldn't get a shot on. Dreisaitl circling the wagons here, cuts wide. Dreisaitl with that puck, power move, tries to pick the short side, put it off the side of the net and that's the shift for Dreisaitl. He averages 22 minutes a night, which at the NHL level is fine and dandy, but a lot more ice. 
A lot of games combined in a short amount of time. Germany back in. Jonas Müller shot blocked. It drops for Finland. Antala slows up, moves it over. Kivaranta trying to drive right to the net, and it was swept away just at the last moment by Jonas Müller. Lamico gets a second chance for Finland in a 2-1 hockey game. Antala. Hard to get him off the puck. Maybe Dennis ruled number two for Germany, the only player of similar size. Lamico is steal. Antala shoots. A little half slapper didn't make its way to the front. Toivisto. Toivisto lets it go. Rule blocked that with the right leg. Pessinen keeps it alive for Finland. Germany starting to wear down a bit here. Finns have been doing a good job of putting a player to the front of the net, creating a battle, drawing a defenseman so that Grubauer has to look past that traffic. He's been bumped into a couple of times. Finland gets the line change with their top group out there. Germany now catches a break. Tipples will skate it out, and the Germans will follow suit. That's offside at the line. Manning and complaining. Finland's found the separate lead at 2-1. goal lead for Finland as we bring you back to Steel Arena in Kosice. Final game of preliminary play at the 2019 World Hockey Championship Group A. Finland playing to finish one or two in the group and stay in this building. Germany playing to finish three or four and avoid Russia. One would think. Fodel. Side door had Nubles there and he was tangled up. Otama provided the coverage for Finland. Puck knuckling through center ice, takes a bounce, and that'll be upheld as an icing despite Manninen pursuing. If you're wondering why you haven't heard Moritz Sider's name, the youngster defender for Germany, the 18-year-old was injured in a game, the fourth game for Germany against Slovakia. Uh, Nagy hit him from behind in the boards, kind of wrenched his back a little bit, and so Sider has been kept out. We're Hearing that he might play in a quarterfinal game, he would be a nice addition to a, a blue line that sometimes handcuffs themselves with their passes, the German defenders. Out of the corner, Timbles to the front. Cajon robbed by Lonkinen reaching back. What a stop by Kevin Lonkinen. His best stop of the hockey game. Cajon still hasn't dented the net. But this is a nice job to get to the front. The puck is popped off the stick. And Lonkinen reaches out with the right arm. Tipples drives. And Otama dislodges the puck. Lonkinen is looking behind him, but good awareness as that puck just sprinkles by the blocker post. That play started with Dreisaitl breaking up an attempted exit from Finland. Now Dreisaitl feeds the front. Cahoon again scores! Dominic Cahoon. Finds a tying goal for Germany. His first at this tournament this year. Ties the score again. A wonderful pass from the left wing boards. Here's the lost face off. It's put around and coughed up. Dreisaitl just hammers it to the front of the net. Cahoon, a slick backhander, goes through Lankanen. And it's 2-2. You go back to the second goal for Finland, it was a lost face off by Dreisaitl. This one, he loses, but the Germans were able to capitalize. Cahoon playing a lot with Anisimov and Saad as a member of the Chicago Blackhawks. 
And 13 goals in Chicago and the National Hockey League has a big one here. First of the tournament to go along with four helpers and it ties the game for Germany. Back to back big plays to set it up by Dreisaitl as well. That was a defenseman, Nico Mikola, who was hurried up, threw the puck up the wall and good awareness by Dreisaitl to get there and no hesitation to move it in front. So we're all tied up again. Germany and Finland expecting low scoring. Grind it out. Dog fight kind of game. Lived up to that thus far near the end of period number two. Eisen Smead waiting for that puck to come up the boards. Plakta pulls out the rake. Miss Muller at the point. Slips past him. And the German captain resets from his own zone. Stretch pass. Looking for Eilitz. Reading that was Yoki Haru. Finland was ahead 1-0 and 2-1. Are trying to find their third one-goal lead of the hockey game. Salonen in with a shot. Goes off a stick. Stays wide. Savanainen pulls it off the far boards. Rattles one deep. Kusula and Salonen behind that German net. It pops out and tangled up was Grubauer's stick in front. Grubauer frustrated at some of the fins and a wide open cage look for Salonen and he peppered it wide. For Savanainen getting contact with Grubauer. This might be a little bit of a strategy here by Finland. Well, they have been putting players right to the top of the blue paint, the Finns, in this game. But the shot blocking by the Germans has allowed Grubauer just to watch. Ailitz floats it over top of the goal of Lankinen. You watch that go right over the goal mask. This one floats in behind the Finnish net. Hawk and paw stripped to the puck, and then a pair collide and Go down, go right back up. The battle's starting to intensify here with Germany and Finland. Chopper to Hager. Patrick Hager holding the line with a little toe pick. Eilitz. Germany not able to work that puck around. Here comes Finland. Good shot by Lamico. Standing in front of that was Yannick Seidenberg. And Dreisaitl helps it along, but not out. Letting in a drive. Traffic in front. Spins back. Kivaranta. Wrist shot on the follow up off the stick. That goes wide. Finland getting more pucks towards the goal, but Germany doing a good job staying. And I believe we have a crease violation that'll halt the play here. Another pair of goals in the period. Have us right back at a 2 2 tie. And the glass at the other end has become dislodged. Some issues throughout this tournament with hits at the corners and the pop glass is trying to get put back on there. There's big Antela pushing dry sidle into that end glass. That's where the Zamboni comes out as well. So those doors typically would swing back. So the arena crew now working on it. The big captain for Finland has played in Jokerit, but we'll get into that later. 2-2 Two -two time. has been 
Pop back in, and the game will have to continue. We've seen both corners of the glass being dislodged. Slows the game down, and both teams have to put up with that, I understand, but under the fixture of an older building. Steel Arena in Kosice, Finland. Trying to restake a lead. Kassinen, who has a goal in the hockey game, had his, his shot go off a Loibel. Now one towards the goal, rising over top of Grubauer. Kapokako working out of the far corner. Manninen joins him. Germany from one pile to another. Kako. Novak. Up the boards. Fodel finds it. Two Germans away. Loibel. Coming down the right wing side, Loibel puts on the brakes, takes a look. Add Fodel moving to the front. Now backhand towards the goal that was by Novak. Hit Fodel, the teammate in front, didn't reach the finish net. Holzer around Letton and drags and passes in front. Fodel had it all teed up again. Boys had a couple of pucks reach him in prime real estate. Can't find the handle. Passing and tied up the other way as Holzer got back. Fodel is pointless in the five games, and this is game number six for him. As Jeremy's going to put himself offside, and that's going to take the faceoff back into their own end. So that's just a mindless nudge of the puck. Dominic Cahoon, his fourth straight appearance at the World Championship, and the fourth time he's scored a goal in each of those four years. He's had some chances. It's always around the net, and this time he finds the net. And the knee down, Selly. Twenty-three-year-old impressed Chicago at previous World Championships enough to get the contract to go play there. Part of the backbone for Team Germany, along with their goaltender today, surprise starter Philip Grubauer, who, if you missed it, left his only other start with injury 30 minutes in. Rule, speaking of in, nearly delivers Big Finn Mikula right into the Finnish bench. Gonna go make the line change for him. That's a lot of poundage coming together. Cahoon dials it up, moves through center, swings over for Tipples. Crowded to Irvine and to Mikula. Wraps it around. Germany beat on that puck. Jonas Muller keeps it down low. Cahoon water bites it. Back to the line. Muller steps in, wrist shot blocked. Nearly ends up in the German bench. Man in it. Knifes it to center. Oyamaki there. Oyamaki offside, but they'll change it up anyway. Germany, a little bit of room out there. Try to use it to their advantage. Hustling back is Yoki Haru. Finland trying to get the clear. Awkward bounce at center. Eisenschmied tucks it back to his own zone. Finns have kind of lost some of their energy. Whiffing on that one, creates the offside at the line. Plakta with another stoppage and a 2-2 tie. And now let's have some fun, ladies and gentlemen, with our number 10 game. You know what that's going to be on the one hand will be the puck. So let's take care of the on the rich one. Dave Tomlinson in Kosice, Slovakia. Group A play, final day of preliminary play. Canada and USA coming up later on across the TSN network. Ford Miller, Ray Ferraro with that call. That will decide potentially a top two position as well. So the games are very impactful in the standings today in Group A and in Group B. As Germany ices it. As 
Czech Republic and Switzerland playing in Bratislava. Dennis Bayak, Mike Johnson with the call, and the Czechs have a 4-2 lead over the Swiss on TSN2. Despite some of the lopsided scores at this tournament, it comes down to the last day of play, last two days to decide positioning, relegation, and the marquee game being Canada against the United States this evening in this building. Yeah, the top four are established in each group. It's just a matter of where everybody finishes and who crosses over. Holzer. Across the Finland line. Germany looking for a late goal. Found one in the first to tie it at one. They'd love to develop their first lead of the hockey game. Antela lost it to Dreisaitl. Just put it right on his tape. Has a man on the move. Hager spots him. Here comes Patrick Hager on. Slapper glove down by Lonkinen with an extra little mustard on it. Well, that's got to feel good for Lonkinen. A wonderful saucer pass from Dreisaitl. Lands on the tape of Hager and speed. The slapper. The glove stop. And then look what I got, everybody. Right here. Patrick Hogger looking for his first goal this World Championship. Denied. Dreisaitl will draw a win. Dying moment to the second. Shopper plays it around. Aylitz tied up. Hustling in is Rule. He'll keep it in. Nice play by Dennis Rule. Might set some up here. Dreisaitl was all teed up and he had the sights off on that goal scoring stick. 50 with the Oilers and thought that one was a sure thing. Bounced in the other direction. Capocacco with 20 seconds to go. Leans on Aylitz. Aylitz surrounded by blue jerseys. Hoggart after Kako knocked down. Away from the pile on to Dreisaitl. One last shot perhaps. Pass awry though and Aylitz won't be able to pull the trigger. And the second period comes to a close. With Germany and Finland deadlocked again. This time at two apiece.
valuable points on the line in the final day of preliminary play in Group A action from Kosice, Slovakia, and Germany. And Finland tied at two apiece. 1-1 one, one after one, 2-2 two, two after two, heading to the third. And who's going to blink first in this steering contest? The Germans have come back twice to tie the hockey game. Two goals off 26 shots for the Finns. Two goals off just 10 well, shots I come out. for Team Germany. There we go. Nice win. Nice. Try Seidel. Wins the draw. In comes Germany to start the third period. Ailitz wanted to pass back to Dreisaitl. Ailitz goes to Holzer instead. Holzer down the boards of the backhand. Hits the side of the net. Dislodged from the netting for a moment. Hogger. Dreisaitl. Long jump. Yoki, excuse me, Hockenpah. Providing the roadblock there for Finland on the near side boards. Hogger and Hockenpah go back at it. Lamico spreads it out finally. And Kiviranta hustles in front of the German bench, nearly offside at that German line. Now some room. Turvinen in. Turvinen cutting wide. Drops back. Letting in shots. Stopped by Grubauer as he squeezes the knees together. Letting in steps into a one timer. Dreisaitl was near the German bench and just kind of coughed the puck up. Here's the battle. Dreisaitl. Gets dislodged from the puck, and the Finns get after it. Drop pass, Grubauer patient, takes this in the equipment. Glove down by Lettinen, couldn't save the line. Lettinen will redial. Off the stick of Ryulan in. Yannick Seidenberg. Eisenspeed now for Germany. He can dance. Eisenschmied. Wrist shot. Block it away by Lankinen. Big rebound. Seidenberg at the line. Fakes now shoots. Low and wide of the goal. Missing the trapper side of Lankinen. Seidenberg again. Hits Michaelis right in the back. He has one of two German goals in the hockey game. Does Michaelis and he'll spread it out. Played up in Minnesota State. Mancato. Point of game player there. 42 games. 19 goals, 23 helpers for 42 points. Miko Mikola, who played in the American Hockey League in San Antonio, part of the Blues organization. Delivered it over the German line. Dennis Rule for Germany. Over to Cahoon, always so shifty. Forced back, though, by Capocaco. And Jonas Muller. Returns to Rule. That center Mauer takes a look up, finds Rule, give and go. Rule in. Nudge to the sideboards. Mikula is there. Tiffles providing a sandwich along with Mauer. Plays that puck deep hole and Lonkin and mishandled it. Tiffles couldn't turn it around for a quick shot, but does grab possession. Cahoon spinning off a check in the corner. Mananen stays with it. Brings it up for Finland. Mananen with two others. Mananen nearly skating right into Capocaco. Across that German line. Now finds Kako. Tries to pull it off the boards, but Tiffles sweeps in to steal. Kako's had a bit of a quiet game. He did draw two penalties back in the first period, but hasn't really commanded the puck that much. Yoki Haru a shot and a left pad stopped by Grubauer. Yoki Haru again and another save by Grubauer turning it out. Two shots for Kako, both in the second period. This game has never really gotten into that back and forth situation. Uh, if it was steeplechase, I would say the Germans are not the horse, they're the fence in the ditches. And Finland is looking to be undefeated in regulation through Group A play. Bring me back to the schoolyard. Pulls it. Plants went in the far corner. Hockenpah, Savadinen, Salonen holding the line. Koski, Salonen shoots, and that's a stop against the crest for Grubauer. Grubauer, the 27-year-old, who's keeping his team in it. This is the deflection in front by Pessinen, and then the counter in under two minutes by the Germans. This was called goaltender interference by the Germans. They lost their challenge. 
That goal went in, and so did that one from Cahoon, the spin around backhander. Wide stance from Newbels can't win the draw. Finland controls in the Germany zone. Savanainen played for it at the near board. Savanainen in tight quarters. A couple of hacks and whacks. Newbels there, 92 for Germany to the line, and it slips out past Coivisto. Nearly picked off by Loibel on the flyby. He'll retreat to the German bench. Give you an idea of Germany's wins. 3-1 against Great Britain, 2-1 against Denmark, 4-1 against France, 3-2 against Slovakia. They have played in tight games all the way through. And then Canada took them to town, 8-1. The loss by the Germans, and then the United States beat them 3-1. Germany sloppy here, and also a sloppy line change. And it'll end up being a tripping call handed out. Puck wasn't really around Otama. See in your screen, he impedes Leonard Fodel. And Germany, well, they'll get themselves a man advantage. Only had one in the hockey game so far. Only two power play goals in the tournament. You mentioned the struggles for Germany. Plakta and Halitz have those. Looking for their first lead of the hockey game. They've had to battle back every step of the way today. Plakta telling Grubauer to move that thing. Germany has not been very strong in the faceoff circle. It cost them a goal against. And then even in a faceoff loss in the offensive zone turned into a goal four. That was the Cahoon goal. Plakta right down the middle. Try to shot. It rolls its way to Lonkinen and down the ice it goes. Another casual stop behind the net by Grubauer with the right instep. Leon Dreisaitl. Fodel across the line. Back to Dreisaitl. Shoots and scores. Picked his corner. And there's the first lead for Germany off a power play goal from Dreisaitl. Up ice with numbers. And the man with the best offensive numbers in the NHL converts here. Dry Seidel, his fourth goal. He made it look easy. Quick up. Dry Seidel is going to move it off, get it back, and muscle this through the goalie. I mean, this is off the stick on the blocker side. Fodel feeds him. And Dry Seidel is just pumping this towards the net. This goes through the arm, off the top portion of the stick of the goaltender and bounces in behind him. Germany with a power play marker is up 3-2. Chased it down 1-0, chased it down 2-1. Find out how they play with a one goal lead for a change as Germany up 3-2 thanks to the power play goal. Just their third of the tournament, fourth overall for Leon Dreisaitl. He's found a way to score the big ones. Has another one today against Finland. Tipples in the slot, kicks it to his stick, curls back, looks to the line, plays down low for Cahoon. Intercepted briefly by Finland. Otama painting himself into the corner. Yannick Seidenberg swings back down low. Pessinen, cross ice pass. Kako, little pull move to the net. Stop Grubauer. What a move by Capo Kako. We've seen him. Pull this off before. Fake leg, he's going to cut to his forehand and then pull the puck between his legs. Receives it on the right wing, going against, against Yannick Seidenberg. Here's the lean, the pull, and the dip of the shoulder, and to the forehand. Now he scored a goal against Denmark with that same move. Pull the goaltender away and then put it in. Grubauer stands his ground on the glove side post. Fodel. Who set up Dreisaitl for that go-ahead marker. Ryla on the inside of the pile there. Getting a good look at the first row. Ryla, backhander. Oh, nearly sprung Oyamaki, who is in behind the German D. Grubauer will advance that puck back into Finnish territory. Time for Lindboom. One of the best names in the tournament. Lin Boom. 
Kiviranta. Kiviranta coming in, slows up, looks to the line, Lindboom shot. Whiffed on it, Germany trying to counteract quickly. Dreisaitl in, leaves for Hager, wrist shot. Shoulder away there by Lankinen. Germany trying to add to their total in the third. Dreisaitl moved it to Alitz, lost his stride right back up and into the battle for it on the far boards. Alitz. Yoki Haru, though, able to knuckle that one off the sideboards. It'll roll down. No icing. As Schopper and Antela come together. Antela finds the puck, just leaned on Schopper. Germany spins it back, though. A two behind the D and a bouncing puck rolled away from Eisenschmidt. Just one handed there by Lonkin and the goaltender, but it did the trick. Now Savanine and across the German line, a wrister, but the play offside at that German line. Leon Dreisaitl, the separator on the board, Germany leading 3 to 2. John Abbott, Dave Tomlinson, Steel Arena, Kosicha final game. Preliminary play for Germany and Finland. And after two leads in the game, Finland sees a 3-2 score favoring Germany up on the board. Leon Dreisaitl with the go-ahead goal. He now has seven points in the tournament. This is the power play marker. As he gets it back from Fodel, muscles it towards the net, and he goes through the goaltender. Pass wasn't blocked. And just finds the back of the net. There's a bit of a matrix involved with these games here. But to simplify it, if Germany wins in regulation, they could quite possibly get out of fourth place and put the Americans there. But again, the tricky part is the Americans play Canada tonight. But that's about the only spot that the Germans can move to. It is, in fact. Yep, third or fourth for Germany, one or two for Finland. Savanainen, that's in the group. Top two teams stay in the cities they originated in. So Finland would stay in Kosice, for example. And three and four, they have to travel. Crisscross, Bratislava, the other host city. Kako a steal, shot off a of Holzer deflected towards the goal. Pressenin brings it down to Capo Kako on the backhand into the top of the crease looking for Manon, and he was tied up by Holzer. Now another shot towards the goal, low and blocked in front of Grubauer. Finland trying to set up something around that crease. Nikola in from the line with Capo Kako. Now to Pessinen. Muller doubles back, finds a way to grab that puck for Germany. Kako contending that that should have been a penalty call. Germany up ice. Maurer in, off a skate. Right back to Koski of Finland. And a two-on-two -two rush developing. Kapokako shoots with a little fake off wrister and Grubauer nearly bit but made the blocker save. He bought himself some room because the same play coming down that same wing, he dragged it between his legs and then got a shot off. So the defenseman had to just back off a moment to wait to see. He gets the offering Kako does towards the goaltender. Grubauer catches up to it with the right arm. Rule. Healthy run at him. Yoki Hario had the puck chip past him, doubling back to help defend Oyamaki. Now to Lindboom, crossing center, rips one deep. Fodel trying to get there against Kivaranta. Kivaranta off the boards, swung across. 
to Irvine and back over and what a stop by Grubauer sliding over to his left to take one away from Oyamaki. That's his best stop in the third period. Germans just chase a little bit. Oyamaki gets free and redirects this one. But no holes on Grubauer. Set up from Turvinen, who's got a goal in this game. But Finland can't even the score there. Lamico couldn't keep it in. Hawk and Paw back with it. You know, when there's a, a team that gets the lead and then they just sit back and you wonder if it might cost them. Germany has sat back since the start, since the opening faceoff. That's how they play. You seem to be able to pull it out like they have at other times late in games in this tournament. Although a little bit of rarefied air here as they work with the lead, albeit slim against Finland. Seidenberg and Antela behind the play. Seidenberg, Yannick, 5'8". Antela, 6'8". 7'9", and oh, he pulled up against Hager at center. It was airborne, but eluded the hit. Ultima, crossing center. Finds a way, shoots into the glove of Grubauer and watched it all the way in. Leon Dreisaitl continues to pace the Germans up Finland off a draw win, trying to draw even in the hockey game for a third time, although this is their first deficit. Germany up 3-2. Otama across. Letten and wrist shot turned away by Grubauer. Spots the puck, pokes at that. Very active goal stick for Grubauer. And helps angle it away. Eilitz. Dreisaitl has the go-ahead goal for Germany to Hager. Chips around Letten. Sends it in deep. Dreisaitl waiting, Hogger doing the work, letting in fines. Up to Capococco. Had over 12 minutes heading into this period, probably going to rack up the miles for Finland. Down a goal now. That would be the smart play, get your best goal, score out the ice more. Six to his name in the tournament. Nothing doing tonight so far for the youngster. Koski, long slapper. And handling that is Grubauer. Made that look like it was just a day at the beach. Koski, the impending Detroit Red Wing. The shot looked like it might have been going wide in the glove side, but Germany has no qualms about slowing this game down. Koski had a very fine offensive season. 51 points with the Pelicans in the Finnish League. That led his team. He had 10 power play goals of the 19 that he scored. Prior to that, he was at Western Michigan with Coach Andy Murray, so he'll go back to Michigan. Play for the Red Wings. Slapper blocked in front of Grubauer. Kako. Look at the bodies in front. Kako navigating, and there's the trip. Power play for Finland on the ever elusive Capo Kako. He's drawn three penalties today because of his strength on the puck. Yannick Seidenberg got his stick into the feet. 
Conco, that lead foot gets connected with the stick from Seidenberg. So Finland is going to try to equalize with a power play marker. Conco is out there for a lengthy shift, so he's not going to start in this five-man unit for Finland. Fourth power play of the hockey game for the Finns. They are one for three. Use that to open the scoring way back in the first with Pessinen deflecting a point shot. Delivered by Lettinen. Would love to tie the game up here. Lettinen sets it up. Slapper from the far side. Turned away and down the ice it goes off the stick of Hager. Germans are just losing a ton of face-offs, but they're hanging in there. Lenton it over. Finland with speed. Rookie Haru to Rayula. Lenton again, far side. Rayula back to the bench. Takes a look in front. Room for Rayula. Moves to Lenton. Yoki Haru. Lenton one timer turned away by the left pad of Grubauer, and Germany's got the rebound. Through the traffic, and Grubauer has been exemplary with dealing with all the Finnish players in and around his crease. Shots are 36-15 in favor of Finland and Germany leading 3-2. Finland on the power play, Lettinen. Nice job to keep it in. Loki Haru, near side, with Pessinen to Lettinen. Slapper into the chest to Grubauer, so composed and he'll keep it. Just sucked that one right in, Lettinen with the heavy slap shot. And he was a part of that first goal for Finland on the power play. Gets a lot of this one, but you can see that the sight line for Grubauer, there's no body, there's just sticks in front. He takes it in the crest and holds on. Next wave out there on the power play for Finland. Kapokako among them. Manon in to take the draw, leans in a touch, surely. Fight for it now. Three fins onto the stick, prize it free. Koski at the line. To the net, nearly tipped on by Antela. And a body in front. Reset at the line, Manon in. Koski, one-timer, Kako, but Holzer got there first. And Corbinian Holzer ushers it down. Holzer and his D partner, partner Moritz Muller, have just done such a fine job of clearing the front of the net, finding pucks, getting their sticks in the way. Mananen on the finished power play with under 20 to go. And Finland has to start back from their own end again. No real hustle to get back to that puck either. Finns down by a goal. Beginning to look like crunch time here in the third period. So we're Vinen across the line. Saladin nearly had it come to him. Power play over. Seinberg and the Germans kill it off as he escapes the box. Ultima down deep. Saladin couldn't get a stick free. Germany takes advantage up and out, sending Mikula back after it. Well, the strength for Finland typically because they play every player, they roll four lines, they try to grind it down, can also be their weakness because their top players get just a regular shift instead of getting doubled up upon. Give a to put that into the kneecap of Holzer who is shaken up but will find a way to get to the bench. Boy, you can tell Corbinian Holzer is in some pain. Inside of the leg with that one. Chopper side door, dry sidle denied by the left pad of Rockin' and keeping his team in it. And the glove comes out. Goaltenders have been sharp at both ends. Germany continues to lead by one late in the third.
Forbidding Holzer, the victim of a shot block, and it didn't look like a comfortable area. You got uh, some of that cold spray by the trainer. That'll open the eyes a little. Germany trying to do whatever it takes to find the win. Lamico for Finland leading the charge back in. Antela at the line. Koivisto's shot misses everything. Hock and pot down the boards. Germany chasing here. Lamico lost his footing. Dry sidle. Perfect position to turn it up ice. High hit there is Cahoon. Had Lamico and Hockenpah converge on him at the same time. He'll shake that off. Germany picking up out of the corner. Tiffles protecting. Turned away. Germany wanted a power play. Shot by Michaelis on. Scooped up by Lonkinen. Well, to illustrate my point about the two different philosophies, Germany, dry sidle, plays 22 and a half minutes a game here at the World Championship. Finland, Kako, Plays under 15. Dreisaitl has the game-winning goal to his credit against Slovakia. Kako with the six goals. He's got just one power play marker. He had two versus Canada, the hat trick against Slovakia, and then a goal and assist against Denmark. But his points are clumped together. But I would be putting him out every second shift. He's out there now. Certainly drives his team forward. Pessinen has a goal. He comes in. Shot off the stick of Holzer, who finds a way to get back in positioning. You think of the names that were in the tournament last year for Finland. Aho, Rantanen. It was a star-studded affair. Kapokako is the brightest spot for this year's entrance. There's the coach, Yuka Yelonen, who coached Finland at the 2010 Olympics in Vancouver to a bronze. That was a 5-3 win against Slovakia to get that medal. Then in 2011 in Slovakia, he coaches Finland to a gold. Then he gets elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in Finland in 2012. So pretty good run for him. Leaves the national team, comes back behind the bench again, and is trying to coax his team to another goal. That's the last goal of the World Hockey Championship for the Finns. You're right in Slovakia in 2011. Lost to Canada in 2016, ended up with a silver. So lots of hockey to go with the quarters, semis, and then those medal deciding games to come. Right now, this one for positioning in the standings. Mananen to the line. Backhander by Letnin. Couldn't keep it in cleanly. Jonas Muller. Waits behind the German net. Yeah, normally you'd want to get up ice and dump it in. That's not the German mentality. They'll wait. They'll come up as a group as they do now and just get it in. Oh, boy, in and out of the glove of Lonkinen. Didn't handle that one too well, but doesn't burn him. Finn's able to turn it up ice and knock down by the goal stick. A Grubauer took an awkward bounce on that decision. Hogger to center. Wobbling puck into Lonkinen. This time he's got it. He'll hang on. If the Finns do go deep in the tournament, they have some of the best fans representing here in Slovakia and almost every tournament. If we leave the booth, we have to go through the concourse. There's a gentleman dressed in a robe with goggles, flippers, a snorkel, and the snorkel funnels beer. Just one of the entrants from the uh, Finnish faithful that we enjoy, very colorful, Eventful crowd. They're hoping to cheer for one more goal at least in this hockey game. Holzer rattles it deep for Germany. Would love an insurance marker against this plucky Finn group. And we'll keep an eye on the goaltender Lonkinen at the three minute mark. Tad early. You see NHL teams try that. But Yuka Yelonen probably going to wait for the last minute 45. Finn slowing it down here. They do get the change, but cold blooded. 
Plakta. Happy with the clear at this point. Puts it right on net, avoiding the icing and time on the side of the Germans as we wind it down in the third. Kivaranta to Lamico. Through pass didn't work. Lantanen. Finland starts from behind their own goal. Well, finally, Kako gets over the boards. Two minutes to go. Lonkin looking at the bench, but not getting any signal. Now an icing, that's going to come all the way back, so the signal is stay in. Well, the Germans back in the first period scored on their first shot, and that was in the last three minutes of the first period, to give you an idea of how they weren't really pressing the issue. They ended up with just three shots after one period. They found a way to get ahead with a power play marker in the third. Manana getting that stick ready, wins it back flush. Surprise Cahoon on that draw. See what the Finns have here. Lonkin and creeping out the Finnish netminder. Over and into the German zone. Lonkin and Steen put right now. He wants with to the go, puck. but nobody signaled him. Still a minute 37 to go in period number three. Yoki Haru. No help on the far boards. Germany keeps it in. Now some open ice. Manon is going to hustle. Manon across the Germany line. Plays it. Wrist shot right on goal by Yoki Haru. And Grubauer will cover up. Maybe this is the face off they're waiting for. I think the bigger question is what are they waiting for? You said the face off. But they're going to have to use their timeout here, and they will. Germany lost their timeout because of a goaltender interference challenge that they lost. That was the 2 1 goal for Finland. So we'll look into the bench and see that they want to stack guys all the way across, get it back to the point, and then walk to the middle. Pretty basic. Can they do it? Germany has not been very good in the face-off circle in this game. So the Finns believe that they can work it around. Wonder if Kako was going to be the one on that far side for the one-timer. I would guess that's a fair assessment. And Lockett and the goaltender will step over the board. So the extra attacker officially on for Finland. Minute 20 to go in the third. Finns trailing for the first time in the hockey game, 3-2. to two. Finland lost means they finish second in the group. Germany win means they could finish third. Man in it. Off the draw, knuckles to center. Finland with the net empty. Trying to find a tying goal late in this one. Lettinen. Up ice. Nearly hit his own man. Passing in with the dump in. Antala slows it up. Reaches the line. Here's Dreisaitl. Empty net. Leon Dreisaitl is going to finish this for Germany. He scores. Second of the game. And it is 4-2 Germany. In control over Finland. This was an arm wrestle that went on for a while. And then... Germany just twisted the wrist and went right over top. That was the power play marker by Dreisaitl. The 4-2 empty net goal, as he's going to make no mistake and put it right to the blue paint and in. And Germany, if this score stays, would like to hop out of fourth place. It's only going to change who they play in Bratislava. And Germany would need Canada to win. If that happens, USA would finish fourth. Finland. The long slap for Lamico. Turned up by Grubauer. Got the rebound as well against Antala. Grubauer invested every step of the way here for Germany. What a calming presence he has been. Finland now getting anxious with it. They needed this a minute ago. 
maybe more than a minute ago. Yoki Haru, a blast, blocked in front. I think that hit Holzer again. Lamico, one last chance to the net, deflected wide by Antala. Time pouring off the clock here, at Germany. Holzer, and it will finish with a Germany win over Finland. Four to two the final. The Finns vacate top spot in Group A. They will finish second, and Germany waits to find out if they are third or fourth. But they put themselves in a better position with the victory today. Germany stuck to it through the entire hockey game. They didn't panic, they didn't go off script, and they come out with the win. Germany congratulates Philip Grubauer, a big part of the victory. Leon Dreisaitl with a pair, 4-2. They take it over Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Germany. Dámy a pánové, postavte se prosím, zazněje štátna hymna Německa.
Leon, a 4-2 victory for Germany over Finland. How would you assess your team's performance through 60 minutes? Yeah, I thought it was a, a good effort uh, throughout the lineup. Um, you know, not not necessarily fancy, but, um, you know, effective. And, um, you know, we're happy with, with the three points. Your coach switched up the lines, putting you with Hager as well as Ellis. How did you like the combination between you three? Yeah, I thought we had some chemistry. Um, you know, obviously, they're, they're two very good players. Um, you know, they get the game and uh, makes it easy for me. So, um, you know, I thought we, we played pretty good. I'm sure you saw up on the video board that your dad was here in attendance today. He'll be coaching in Kosicha next season. How much has he meant to your hockey career? Uh, yeah, he's, he's always been my, my go-to guy, my number one. Um, you know, obviously him, him playing hockey uh, is, is a huge role. And, um, you know, he's, he's always been my, my go-to guy, like I said. And, um, you know, it's nice to, uh, you know, get a few games uh, in, in, in front of him. Now, what's your motivation level heading into the quarterfinals? Surely you're excited. Well, yeah, I mean, there's not much motivation needed. Um, you know, obviously, quarterfinals uh, at the World Championships, it's, uh, it's special for us, especially for, for Germany. So um, we're going to enjoy it and, and uh, uh, you know, go in and, and try and play the same game as tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. up against Germany you knew that this was going to be a tight tactical battle considering that you play a very similar style what ultimately decided this result yeah I think uh, it was a pretty even game game uh, all the way but I think we let them score a couple of goals too easily and, and uh, that that was the difference today we got Philip Grubauer back in net Finland only managed 17 shots what were you seeing out on the ice in terms of limited time and space yeah of course we try to take a lot of shots and we had had a lot of shots before the this game but I, I think that's uh, one thing we can prepare and win the win the rebounds in in front so so we can score more now the highest you'll finish is second in group a what is your mindset heading into the quarterfinals of course we are satisfied how we did in a in a group but but it doesn't matter anything in a in a next game so I think we are pretty excited to to play 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 the next game and and, and uh, hopefully it's going to be fun. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Ja, die Wiesen, oder?